Okay, Derek, good afternoon. I want to give you a heads up on the gun. Uh, it's all done and it's going to go in the box tonight, which means it's going to hit UPS tomorrow morning. Let me show you a little bit about this thing. Um, obviously, it's built on the Browning M2. Uh, you can see we've got uh, we've got the wooden grips, both sides, uh, aiming port up the top. Down here, we've got the cocking lever. I'll show you that in a second. And we've, of course, got the serial number stamp. In addition to everything else, what you're going to find is about 25 rounds of 50 cal BMG. Uh, naturally, these are hollowed and drilled out. So we don't have any problem with um, the authorities. Um, in addition to that, we've also got uh, this is a full-length barrel, uh, and I'll show you how that attaches to the rifle in just a minute. The whole thing breaks down nice and easy for transportation. Um, on the top end, we've got um, a very large muzzle brake. Although that's not original to the Browning M2, I just think it really looks kind of cool, especially if you've got this hanging off a Jeep. Uh, if you don't like it, all you got to do is just pull this pin out and take the muzzle brake out. All right. We've also got uh, this green piece right here. That's a brace for the stand uh, right there. Pretty much, uh, basically, it's everything in a standard Jeep. Uh, it's a steel frame. Stands about 30 inches tall. Gives you full 360 rotation. And with the gun mounted in the bolt... Again, pull the pin, slide the bracket through the front hole on the gun. <clears throat> You'll get uh, almost 90 degrees up and down on that. The uh, pedestal itself is made out of steel, welded construction, and I've got four holes down the bottom, so you can bolt that into your Jeep. I'd really like to suggest you use some really good bolts on that, probably stainless steel. There's going to be a lot of weight on this, so the more uh, more strength you put into the base, the better. Uh, there's an attachment point right here for the brace that comes up to the gun. And let me show you that. Okay, Derek, this is the whole thing mounted on a stand. You can see we've got the main pin through the stand on the other side with a pin. Uh, if you want to take that out, just pop the pin, move the main uh, locking bolt, and again, it breaks down for easy use. Now the whole stand is held in right now by an upright strut, welded in here, flexible joint there, and then up underneath the gun. So you can set this up for 90 degrees or you could set it for a couple of points of elevation. This is really just for holding it steady in the Jeep. Um, once of course you get to the combat zone and you want to go a little crazy with it, hold on, all you got to do is just pop that out and you've got full elevation full down and you've got some 360 a little bit of 360 rotation go ahead go like really wild 360 it's a little bit tricky I know so we've got full motion again the more you bolt that stand down the more sturdy it's going to be um, I think you're going to love this thing all right to lock and load this thing it's very simple Open up the ammo hatch, take the 50 rounds. It doesn't matter which way they go in, the one loop at the top or the two loops at the top, it doesn't really matter. Come over here, flip up the, uh, the link holder, slide them down into the link, and close the link holder like that, and shut down the lid. Everything's in there nice and tight. You could drive around uh, with your Jeep uh, you know, with the ammo hanging out of it, it's not a problem at all. Now, if you want to pretend you're loading it, again, it's a very simple thing. Grab the cocking handle, bring it all the way back, and let it snap forward. Sounds exactly like a real load. Um, of course, naturally, we're not loading anything up. Um, it just looks really cool. Unloading is a similar thing. Open a hatch. Um, open up the link retainer lift it all off you got to close that down first or the lid won't close and there you go back to normal okay to mount the barrel in the rifle it's a really simple thing if you look at the end of the barrel you're going to see a little pin sticking out about an eighth of an inch uh, you want to slide that in so that's just about at the 12 o'clock position and you'll find that it goes right in just like that 
then it hits a spring push in a bit more and turn and it's locked in that way it's nice and sturdy it's not going to go anywhere when you do that obviously the brake uh, the muzzle brake is in a flattened horizontal position nice and easy if you want to take it out just push it in turn it and the whole thing breaks right down for easy shipping that's the browning m2 from unusual machines um, most of it is aluminum construction there is some steel in there uh, i think this is going to bring you some years of enjoyment especially if you're a military collector